Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Venom vlog. And today we're gonna talk about uh, this bit of news here, Entertainment Weekly posted, Tom Hardy returning for Venom 2, which I would count this as uh, no shit news. <laughs> That's kind of why I didn't do a video on it right away. I, I thought about it and then I was like, yeah, I retweeted on Twitter. I think most people know that I'm aware of it and it's, it's not a big deal. I don't need to make a whole episode on it. But a couple of people did write me and were like, hey, we'd love to hear your thoughts. And and my thoughts are, yeah, no duh, of course he's coming back. I mean, he made the you know Sony uh, like you know a couple hundred million dollars of profit uh, and he also told us in person when we saw the screening and he did he recorded the intro for our show uh, he said he goes you know I really love this character and I can see why you and other fans love this character so much and I barely scratched the surface in this first movie and I want to explore him even further so hopefully this movie makes enough money to where I can come back you know uh, two or three more times if possible and make um, you know and make something and you know make more learn more about this character re peel back more layers and portray the character um, you know stronger in other in other scenarios and, and have them, you know, experience other scenarios like carnage and all that stuff. So he was, you know, already gung ho about doing more. So I had no doubt in my mind after I, after the movie made $855 million on a hundred million dollar budget, I was like, yeah, of course he's coming back. Like the studio is going to do whatever it can to make sure he stays on board. And, uh, you know, they have him through a contract, I think of even three movies. So to me, this was like just a no brainer. Like I, I was just surprised that this was an article at all. Um, and this is one of those things where again, I, and I saw like collider video, make like a video. I, and of course I didn't watch it cause I'm not going to watch th their, their content where they're just like, like farting out articles when it's like, oh, it's a slow news day. So Entertainment Weekly decided to talk about you know, Tom Hardy officially being, you know, in Venom 2. And that comes from Amy Pascal. It was like an interview that someone did with her. And she mentioned, oh, yeah, Tom's coming back. You know, I'm not really involved too much in some of the Sony stuff anymore because I'm going off and doing a universal deal now. And uh, and she goes, but, you know, everything I've seen of Morbius looks really great. And, you know, and then I'm and Tom's coming back for the, you know, the second Venom movie. And it's like, and they, they were like, all right, we got four headlines here. You know, she's A, she's not on the movie anymore um, or not on these movies. She's not working on Morbius at least. Um, and then she, but she knows about Morbius and she said it's great so we have that's another clickbait article and then she mentioned Tom Hardy that's another clickbait article and that's all this is I mean that's and that's all that's all these people do and you know me on this show like I just don't I don't feel I have to comment on every single thing and this I was just like eh it's a no-brainer of course he's coming back uh, you know why is this even an article but at the same time I'm like oh well I'll just talk about it just so people <laughs> will you know understand why I didn't uh, a couple days ago when the news broke or when this news broke quote unquote news on that one um, because this to me was was a no-brainer I, I don't need some article from Entertainment Weekly to tell me that Venom uh, 2 is happening with Tom Hardy I, I pretty much guess that I would need them to tell me that Venom 2 is happening without Tom Hardy that would be news uh, because I'd be like whoa what happened what happened with the negotiations why isn't he coming back you know that would be a story this to me is a non-story <laughs> but still you know we're covering here I'll put a link to the article down below if you want to check it out um, you know uh, and I know that I'll squeeze this in here too because I also feel like like this is non-news in a way where people were talking about Kevin Feige and how he said Venom's going to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe and it's like literally read the articles when when you see things don't look at the headlines read the articles uh, and don't look at fan reactions to it read the articles read for yourself you'll see that he you know Kevin Feige did not say Venom was going to be in the MCU he said Venom and, and Spider-Man are characters owned by Sony yes uh, you know they get to use Spider-Man uh, in you know as part of the MCU but he's those movies are still made by Sony the marketing is a Sony marketing team uh, the writer is Sony writers Sony producers uh, Kevin Feige just comes in and has a say in some of the stuff and then I think they had to agree on the director of those movies um, and that's it like and then Tom Holland obviously was a Marvel cast character uh, and then they could bring in characters like Iron Man Happy Hogan and Nick Fury and all that stuff and Maria Hill so that's the shared thing that they have, but they are ultimately Sony movies. So Kevin Feige in that interview said, no, uh, Spider-Man is a Sony thing and so is Venom. And if they're going to do anything, you know, it, that's up to Sony if, if they're going to have them connect or, or be together. So I would say chances are Venom is not coming to the MCU. I don't even know why people would want that now because there's no like there's no Iron Man in the MCU anymore. And typically, if you want to bring someone into the MCU from an outside standpoint, you would want to do it so they can interact with the Marvel characters we all know and love. But half those characters are gone now. So to me, I don't want to see Venom in the MCU because you're not going to get anything. You're not going to get a bonus. You're going to have him fight Spider-Man. It's like, well, we can just bring Spider-Man from the MCU into Venom's world, into the Venomverse, and have him interact with Venom that way. 
To me, that makes more sense to do because then you're gaining something by bringing Tom Holland's Spider-Man into the Venomverse. But if you put Venom into the MCU, you're losing stuff because you're taking him out of the world with Morbius in it and, you know, all these other characters, Black Cat and all these other characters they're going to make movies of. You're, you're, you're taking away their Iron Man to put him in another universe with Spider-Man. And that makes no business sense to me. And I think Sony knows that too. So, uh, yeah, Kevin Feige didn't say that at all. He didn't say that Venom's joining the MCU. He, uh, and, you know, he just said that if there's going to do anything with Spider-Man and Venom teaming up or fighting each other, it's Sony's call on what to do, uh, not Marvel's call on it, not his call on it. So, uh, yeah, but obviously anything MCU related is his call. So chances are when he said, oh, that's Sony's thing, that means there's no chance of it coming in the MCU, <laughs> most likely. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to point that out, too. Since we were doing like a non-news episode, I figured I would cover all that stuff for you there. So I'll put a link to this down below, and I'll also try to find a link to that Kevin Feige article, and I'll put that down below, too, so you can read it for yourself and let me know your thoughts. Uh, but that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching the show, as always. And this isn't just about my opinion. It's about yours, too. So let me know what you think down in the comments below of this article, of this news, everything I talked about here. Let me know down below, and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.